good morning guys it is a friday uh 2023 because i know some of you are going to watch this video maybe five years from now but welcome to my channel my name is lindy sherry's and if you look at my face you'd see that it is becoming dark because of this hat it is hot so currently it's 9 a.m in south africa so yeah i'm just going to walk and the reason why i take this walk now is because I waited for the kids to go to school, those who work to go to school, and then now, yeah, I am just going to take a walk. Because you know what I don't like? I don't like walking and then there's cars going to the gate, off to work, and you know, the employees and the kids. Yeah, so I decided, let me just wait. Either I do it very early in the morning, or I do it now at nine. So I think now it's fine. It's all quiet. There's no wine on the street. The helpers are cleaning. Those who are at home are cleaning. The house mothers are cleaning. Housewives are cleaning. And yeah, me, I'm taking a walk. And okay, so let's just start with um, those who are new in the channel. So in this channel, we talk about God, glorify God in each and everything that he does for us. And his protection, his mercies, his grace, um, the word, that is living and active that's the main thing I, I mean the the reason why i created this channel is because i wanted to glorify god i wanted to talk more about god and also i wanted to share some of the things that people do not share because they are scared to be judged i mean i don't care anymore i don't care so i've gone past that phase where being worried about what do people say like i, I see so many people who worry about what people will say so with me i shame i just talk all my mess all my mistakes depression okay marriage i won't say anything because i'm the one who's a youtuber my husband is not a youtuber my husband is not into this ministry so it is only fair not to talk about my marriage but in anything positive obviously i will share i'm sure he won't mind but as long as it, it benefits someone, it teaches someone, I will talk about it. So yeah, I am going to do a five kilometer. So our estate where I stay, just a walking once, you do one kilometer. So I'm going to walk five times and then, um, yeah, we'll keep talking. But obviously I won't record the whole five kilometers. I'll just record maybe two kilometers and then we'll talk about different things so let me just share my view right now of what i see in front of me so that you guys can you know be with me in this moment and someone said um so someone from youtube came to our church and she said to me i must do these walks because it is because of these walks that she learned to pray because sometimes i'll just take these walks and just pray so yeah without even going further let me just share this view. So this is what I currently see. Houses. Beautiful houses. People have nice houses here. So you guys can you know, absorb this moment with me and just be present with me. So this is what I see now. Yeah, let's come back to my beautiful face. So yeah, topic number one um, is, so normally I would pray uh, and maybe share a scripture, but then I'm not going to do that fully today because I already did my quiet time. So I woke up, I think around half past six, yes, half past six. Then I decided, you know what, I cannot go back to sleep because my kids usually make noise so i don't wake up early to prepare my kids to go to school because i have two daughters who are old enough to take care of the of the brother so all i do at night is just to prepare his clothes make sure that everything that he has um he needs for the following day he does have like including socks and everything so today he's going uh away at school on an excursion so i needed to buy snacks and prepare what she was supposed to wear which is a jean and a 
great t-shirt so that's what i need to prepare before going to sleep and then the sisters usually wake up early and then they will do the lunch and then they will just um prepare him and then they will go to school so yeah guys um it is nice so now they are at school so i don't need to do that so i am a housewife but that part guys i don't do so the next thing that i do now after this walk i am going to clean clean my house make sure that it's clean before i start working because i really want to work in an environment where it's clean and neat uh, it just makes my creative juice flow so i normally do that and then after cleaning i'll check if i have laundry so while cleaning i'll just put that in our washing machine and then if it's my husband's clothes i don't wash those uh, using my washing machine because you know it destroys the clothes so i usually use my hands especially the white shirts and you know those and then i usually iron and sometimes i will get someone to come iron because i really don't like ironing i can maybe tolerate doing the laundry but the ironing guys i feel like why spend so many hours if i can get someone who come and do it and then i can just pay that person so that's what i normally do with my laundry so also i'm studying biblical counseling which i have been dragging so now i need to be very serious and do it proper guys because we are on module two and i didn't do module one i don't know i was just busy making money online focus on wanting to pay off my debt and forgot about i didn't even forget i was feeling guilty and i didn't do people car counseling so guys i need to go back and focus on that so um next week monday to friday i'll be attending live classes where we go to pretoria in linwood yes in linwood and then i'll just attend module two and then after i won't be done with module two but i will i will at least catch up and then the assignments and then done so module one apparently is something small i just need to read a book answer a few questions then i'm done then guys then i'll be done the end of the year i'll be done i'll start doing my practicals so you guys can come for people car counseling and then i will cancel you i mean topics such as marriage raising unruly kids and, and, and just being in ministry at church as well so those are the things that i'll be focusing on so i'm very grateful for my people car counseling because it also while studying i'm actually also getting edified and and I, I realized that the main thing is lead people to christ give people the gospel uh speak scriptures that's what we are mainly focused on so let me give you the view now and then we'll come back to the second topic my view now is this this is my view nice houses nice houses um i specifically we closer to the park now ne? i think i'll just take a walk to the park and then okay topic number two um the camp yeah so the camp today so i'm already done so i'm in charge of the games so i'm already done preparing the games so i'll do a full video yes i'm not sure if i'll get the ladies at church to to agree to me recording a video for my youtube channel but then yeah so there's that and yeah i'm almost done i just need to pack my clothes the blanket and the things that we'll need for games oh yeah let me share this view so this is our park kids play here this is our park yeah so this is where yeah you can come and relax so maybe but then i think i'll sit when we go to number five so back to camp there is a church camp we need so we're basically going for from friday until sunday ah here it's nice man. can you see the view here it's nice 
Wow. Wow, oh, I wish I can just stand here. I wish I can just stand here. So here it's nice. Okay, view and the swimming pool, the cart, multi papers cart. And then now I'm closer to my house. So this is me finishing one kilometer. Or close to one kilometer. So yeah. So second topic guys is Dr. Nandip. Hi, 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 hi. Like I, I keep asking myself, good yo, what happened? What happened? What really happened to the girl? And then uh, I was telling my husband that I'm an mjolo, a matando. Like really when a girl is in love, I shame we can do weirdest things ever. And before even judging Dr. Nandi Pane, I'm not the one to judge because I know I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I'm not the one to judge me. Uh -uh. I don't play like that. So this Dr. Nandipa thing, yo guys, it's scary. I mean, for a person who's, you know, I would expect that if maybe she was poor and struggling and trying to fare for her family. No, no, a full doctor, guys, a full doctor who's an influencer. I mean, we're working hard trying to be influencers so that um, businesses can approach us. I, this lady, the beauty, the brain, and then... um. And then the influencer part, I mean, she's already known on social media. And what happened? What happened? What happened? It can only mean the devil is at play, guys. It can only mean the devil is at play. You know, when the devil, like, gets hold of someone, like, he doesn't let go of that person unless if that person starts asking God for help. Like, you know, when you, you see with the hype man, he has me... Um, on his grip like he cannot let go that's where you need to say help but then with her i feel like um she was just dead she she, she wouldn't even see reason like i'm a guy who leaves their career to do i mean i mean guys i mean is it like what root of evil the money is it because of the money? and i mean checking her her bio and the things that she bought i mean Having said that they found a watch worth one million in a house, that's scary, guys. I mean, that for her to have that watch, I mean, already she's making a lot of money. And just the whole plan, guys, of, 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 of arranging a dead person and then burning that cell and then this guy escaping. And it just shows that money has power somewhere, somehow. Money has power. And uh, this lady, she just went all in. And just gave in to the devil my view my view now my view now she just gave in guys she just like ah I'll, I'll leave the doctor thing for love i will do anything and 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 when i say i cannot judge it's because the things that we do when we are in love like i mean i mean let's not even go further me like I did so many things and I look, I'm like, yo, I don't believe I actually did that. I mean, there was a time when I was dating this guy and that time I drove a BMW coupe. You know, you know that uh, ones, uh, the Cabriolet one. I drove that car and some week I gave that car to my boyfriend for him to drive around and my cousin saw that guy driving that car with a girl so those are the crazy crazy things that we do when we are in love and it's god god it is said it is said it is so sad that um we get to do stupid things whenever we are in love so i think i should take a turn oh yeah so from here you can see my house from here okay let's look do you see that house behind the one with four solar panels at the top? This side, because most of my solar panels are on the other side. So can you see the house in the middle? That's my house. So can you see that? So yeah, so Kasakashi, I can go straight from here to my house. Yeah. So yeah, things that we do for love. And yeah, I, I, I can only blame the devil and I once said, um, we were once discussing that with this lady and we were talking about the women who give birth and then 
leave their kids in a bin or something and then i was like oh wow i will never do such a thing and wada, 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 i went on and on judging this woman and then that lady said to me oh this car is beautiful look look nice ne? and then that lady said to me you don't realize how much of a sinner you are up until you are in her shoes and you start understanding the mental part of what she's going through what was going on in her mind what the devil was busy whispering in her head for her to take that baby and leave that baby in a bin and then from that day i stopped judging people i stopped judging people because we, we get so sad sometimes to a point where you like ah, let me die or let me kill myself i mean i've tried that before <laughs> it didn't work and my mom said ah next time you want to kill yourself use a prim use what 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 because what i did i took her pills and i didn't die i didn't die and obviously i don't even think i wanted to die but yes i was sad and i, just, I thought i want to die but my mom said uh -uh, next time when you want to kill yourself get a gun a gun is faster it sort of like guarantees you Nyana, that you will die so guys you never know what people are going through up until you're in the shoes let's not judge let's not judge don't say oh i don't believe she did that you don't know when we are at our lowest moment in our lives when we do the craziest things like just remember in romance 326 if i'm not mistaken which says we all sinners we're all sinners and we need god we need god so the best we can do for anyone before they even get to that point where they kill themselves or they sacrifice because of love or they they want money so bad they want money so bad that they will do anything that they'll even kill someone um, we need to make sure that we share the gospel before we get to that point so yeah guys uh, I, I was just shocked like i keep asking myself i wonder what happened for her to leave her family the husband who's also a doctor and do these things that she did but i am not god i am really not god and i'm not going to judge anyone i pray father i pray that while she's in prison she will learn she will learn she will learn and grow and not just grow um with knowledge like wisdom but grow spiritually to a point where she just gives everything to god so yeah that's dr nandipa and my camp so now i'm going for my second round i am at the same place where i showed you so we're just going to keep walking until i do five so when i get home now now i'm going to leave the camera and then i'll continue walking because you know the heart guys and and the reason why i think i need to start walking are uh, my heart and i know it could be because of coffee because i drink um coffee but not too much i think i drink two cups i wake up and drink in the morning so i'm thinking maybe my heart it could be a coffee it could be someone yeah. it could be because I, i'm just not healthy so let's just start let's start by walking i, I know i'm not a one who do 10 kilometers but uh but uh I'll, I'll just do five kilometers and then maybe there's a lady at church that's actually mom fundi said um pastor's wife uh, she does um these exercises uh in the morning so i'll just join them and also do those exercises because i really do not want this exercise thing to be pain in my life like i want it to be there and i can also work on just reducing eating more healthy things that means i need to buy more fruits and vegetables buy the things that will help me on my journey and remember guys i did stop eating for for what five days without food and i lost the weight and then after i shem i started eating yo i started eating i ate and ate and eight and now i am fat again i am big i am big for my weight so yeah guys 
Uh, let me see if I can. You know how they do that thing? I can't. I can't. I wanted to show you my turkeys and all, but I can't. I can't. So let's just keep walking. Let's just keep walking. Let's just keep walking. Going uphill, going uphill, going uphill. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mentors. Take care of your spiritual life. And what I was reading this morning is Matthew 13. No, look, no. Mark 13, which talks about the coming of Jesus Christ. And also I read Matthew. Hey, I forgot which Matthew. Yo, I, I forgot. But basically, it was talking about us being awake at all times because Jesus will come one day. And when he comes, we need to be ready. We need to be ready and be ready now. Um, if you do not know Christ, it is easy to be to, to be led to Christ. I can't even lead you now. If you do not know Christ, you can just say it with your mouth because the Bible says we need to confess with, my, with our mouth that Jesus Christ died in the cross for us and has resurrected for us to be free for us to be saved for us for, for 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 us to have access to god so let me just lead you to christ if you've never accepted christ as the lord and savior or maybe you just want to renew renew or maybe you weren't sure when you did it the other time so let me just um renew that do you believe that christ died in your died for your sins so if you say I do, do you repent of your sins and ask God to forgive you for your sins? Then you can say I do. And then because you have confessed and do you also believe in your heart? And because you believe and you confess and you are asking God for forgiveness by just saying that you are now saved. So you just need to go and find a Bible reading church, a church that reads from the Bible, not just read one scripture and then, and then it's all entertainment and all, but then read from the Bible and, and just immerse yourself and just soak yourself in the word and, and, and just learn. There must be teachings in that church on different topics. So if you have just accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior, just go to the church, read, and it's okay. You can go to different churches and you will find the one that God has planned for you to. But just don't sit at home and say you will worship on TV. No, man, that's not you belonging to a church. You need to belong to a church. So I am here now. I am here now. <sighs> I am here now. So it is important to find a church where you can belong, where you can serve, where you can be part of the body. And the word of God says that uh, we are part of the body. So if you are at home and you are not connected to the church, you are not, the, the, the word says that some are eyes, some are ears, some are legs, some are you know the ones who talk so we are all gifted differently so that we can be part of the church so just find that church and take your time god will guide you keep praying for god to guide you so i am that point i am at that point um where that place that spot where my camera will look nice so i'm just going to walk slow here just going to walk slow here because it really does look so nice. I think one day I'll just come and record here. Yeah. Does look nice, no? Does look nice. Can you see it does look nice? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it does look nice. So we're just going to walk slow here. Because it really does look nice. So I'm almost home. And you see it does look nice. So this spot I really love and I cannot wait. I think I'll just come here 
and record here. You see, I, I just love this spot. This is what makes me feel so grateful to be living here and to be serving God because He has given us so much. And at times we might not be grateful of what God has given to us. And he has given us so much. And just look around you. Whether you are working or not working, there's something that God has given you. And you're just not appreciating. And he says, we go to him with thanksgiving. I am truly grateful for my life. I am truly grateful that I get to live in this world, do these things during the day and having to sort of like control my time. So I am almost home. I am almost home. See, almost home. I am almost home. So, yeah, guys. So this is where I leave this phone at home. And I hope y'all are going to have a lovely day. So I'm just going to pray for you. Just a quick prayer to prepare for your day if you didn't pray. Heavenly Father, Lord of Lord. I thank you for this time. I thank you, Father, that we got to spend time with each other and with you, O Lord. Truly, we are grateful, Father, for what you have blessed us with. And we pray, Father, for our day. Be the one who will speak. Uh, be the one who will help us. Be the one who will control our day and help us, O Lord, to appreciate our bodies our bodies and help us a lot to remember that our bodies is the body of christ is the is the temple of christ and we thank you so much father for what jesus christ did in the cross i mean having to die in the cross and being resurrected for us to be free and lord we walk in freedom um and we thank you father for what you say in colossians 3 15 Guti, we should let your peace rule in our lives thank you so much for everything that you are doing things that we see and things that we do not see and we thank you lord for everything that you do in jesus name i pray for everyone here to have a fruitful day a loving day a day filled with your power in jesus name amen